one. Sarah's running away, but she's here. There she is, she can't run away. <laughs> and we're doing a little section of Hadrian's wall path today. We've done just one little bit before. It was me and you last time. But we're officially gonna do the gap today. And look at the sky. Uh, yay, sun's out. Hadrian's Wall is the largest Roman archaeological feature in Britain. Its construction began in 122 AD under the reign of the Emperor Hadrian. Right, so there's going to be a lot of descending on this route, simply to ascend very shortly after. <laughs> It's going to be leg workout day today. <laughs> the wall stretches for over 73 miles. There you go, Sarah picked coming up this path. And there's a lovely, you know, flat bypassing route. <laughs> <laughs> All Sarah's fault when our legs are killing us. <laughs> Hadrian's Wall is also part of Hadrian's Wall Path, which is a long distance foot trail in the north of England and became an official national trail in 2003, running for about 84 miles. Yeah, there you go. Sensible people down there on the flat path. We're doing the up and downhill path along the wall. down the scramble route and I'm going down this little route. <laughs> you no, know, my luck, it'll still be me that trips up and not Sarah. <laughs>
There you go, not quite the same as a trick point, but it still counts for today. <laughs> The sycamore tree is found in the famous dramatic dip right next to Hadrian's Wall in Northumberland. It's also known as Robin Hood tree as it was featured in the 1991 film Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. from a Roman temple erected around 200 AD. The temple was dedicated to the god Mithras. Worship to Mithras took place in small secluded temples. These temples were meant to resemble the cave in which Mithras was said to have killed a sacred bull and feasted with Sol, god of the sun. Each temple was believed to represent the cosmos and worshippers underwent a spiritual journey there from life to the afterlife. 